Welcome back to an exciting new year. Plan for today. We've decided to go Zin Zhao, and our play style is going to be an assassin. Reason being, they've got a lot of CC. They've got quite a couple where's Thresh there. These two of tank initiated type champions. So they're going to be looking to get the grab and get the CC and make the plays. While these three, this one sits back, controls the CC, positions herself correctly is her hope. This one dives in once these two get their CC off. Or he gets his own big CC. Or even when Lee, C no Lee, C Lee Sin knocks everybody up. So they've got a lot of options to play around these two champions. Our goal then is going to be get in, take out one of these two, get out. If our team overcommits from that point, it's on them. Um, but we're going to have the advantage of a Wukong being able to go and knock them up, get some CC off, and us be able to follow that up. I'm potentially thinking of grabbing the Yasuo a lot of the time. Um, Ash, of course. But because we can pop our ult to mitigate a lot of the damage that's going to be coming in from the Ash, stay on top of the Yasuo is going to want to top, fight on top of us, get that kill, and then either move out and come back around for the Ash, or get out completely. Ash has a lot of CC that will just... She has a lot of self-healing, and then I've got a feeling that Thresh... I've just got a feeling this Thresh is going to know what he's doing. We'll undo that because we don't need them after the initial period. Got a feeling this Thresh is going to know what he's doing and look to peel often. When we're playing in the jungle, I often like to rush straight across to the river or even the enemy blue buff and placing that first ward there so I can quickly recall and pick up a sweeper. This allows me to be much more efficient when I am ganking because I know if they can see me or if I can get straight in. Uh, we didn't actually choose jungle as our primary we chose it as our secondary but that's fine because we have the name jungle book we used to be a jungle main we do love the old a jungle it's a really nice leash so you can start uh you can go second talon or sorry w or q usually i go q but fuck that one up i guess <laughs> So just watching his health there, 65, so I need one more hit boom. <laughs> then we're gonna do bang, get the full AoE here. Kite them back where we need to go next, we'll wait for cooldowns. So we don't need to hit that one anymore, sweet. We didn't need the health pot there, but we'll use it anyway. You'll probably get greedy here. Called it. Let's get him off the old Lux for her. All right. Just to help her out a little bit, relieve some of that pressure. We got Leeson in the counter, in the jungle. Sorry, so he could be counter jungling. So that's why we're popping this. Yep. He's not coming. Beautiful. Played that very well. So just paying attention to the map there. Lux pinged that Yas was missing and she wasn't following. So we're like, all right. Poor Wayne, as soon as we saw the Yasuo pull out, we knew that it was a free kill on the Lee. Just had to play it well. So it's why slowing down your gameplay is very, very important. I've got the meditative music in the background right now. I don't realize if it's copyright free. I have to look into that before I add it on. Juice full health, but I don't think he's going to be dumb enough to keep pushing up.
He seems like he knows what he's doing. No point wandering around now, we know he's got most of this. So we take the back there pushed up, now we're going to go down here. That scuttle's probably gone. But we've got a good advantage now. So we're going assassin build. Usually would go that into that into that. But because we are playing to assassinate. Oh, got it. Anyway, because we're looking to play to assassinate, obviously not going to take that full sustain build. It is a great build though. Jump in, do lots of damage, heal up a lot. Now she shot her eye down my way to see where I was. Couldn't get the reveal, so that's good. They might think Drake is relatively safe, or at least they are relatively safe. When using Scry and I, keep in mind it's going to reveal on the minimap to both your team and the enemy team when it's been sweeped. Use this to your advantage. Watch when your laners are coming back to lane, then use it. It could give the illusion to your opponent that it was them, not you, allowing a free gank. Damn, you got that hook too. Interesting mechanic. Mm. Always focus the ash. I'll take this for free. Should go get the yes first. Yeah, so I used Flash. That's good to know because he is level 7. Which way is he going to pass? He might just go for a Tower Death. There were a few things we did wrong there. If you were paying attention to the minimap, which clearly we weren't at the time, you would have noticed that Lee Sin was pathing back down through the river to his bot side jungle. We could have turned, contested the Lee Sin while Yasuo was out of commission. We would have won the fight against Lee, could have stolen his red, and then looked for the next kill or objective. Pull this one out because we are versing a Lee Sin. But yeah, we know we're pretty safe to take it because Yasuo did execute himself. And he did use Tilly to get back to lane. Oh, there's a Lee. This is a free Drake. Should go down and kill them afterwards. Nah, I missed it. No point. Actually. She just used us now, so we're not gonna worry about that for a sec. We're just hunting for this lease in right now. And now we got a free bot. We just saw lease in. didn't need to W while inside their vision. Much easier to simply walk up, get within E range, jump in. Now you've got increased attack speed, use your Q to get their three hits off, which give you additional damage and reduce your cooldown. Your third one knocks them up, you get a free W, there's your max damage output. There's some damage there. Mox is quite low too. 
I didn't like where my camera was positioned while committing to this gank. Yes, it is important to clear out those surrounding wards while you're going in, but it's arguably more important to be watching where you're going to know if, nice, when, forward locks. and where the opportunity is. So Lux played that as poorly as she possibly could. That's why we're taxing her right now, because we're definitely going to be the carry here. Not her, especially because this Yas is good and she is not. Well, at least she's not playing that great. And then we just missed that. <laughs> Hypocrite. <coughs> Alright, so bot's getting pushed up again. They're probably constantly going to push up because of the Ross Rack air. So we can often make plays there, that means. Oh, they got the rifty poo, huh? Lee Sin Flash, Lee Sin Alt. Alright, so now we're probably going to look over. Oh, he went back. Ah, oh, we're going to bait in the clone. So we're going to leave it for the Wukong, but I thought he was actually going to die there. And if he's going to leave this lane. Beautiful. Help him get some plates, we get some gold here too. You can go check where the lease in is. Nice. So we got good lead on top now, which is great. Playing this very, very well. Wonder if Lee Sin's on our side because we're showing so much his side. Nope. Check for wards that way. There's Lee Sin, he's mid. We knew we could 1v1 the Darius at this point. So we proxy his lane, keep an eye out for the Lee Sin, and allowing the Wukong to maximize his damage on that top tower. Remember, before the 14 minute mark when the plates are still up, the more people that are attacking a tower, the higher its defenses and the less damage you do. Oh, but we are assassinating, so yeah. We gotta take that. And then, boom. Now we're going to jump in, do boatloads of damage, get the fuck out. <laughs> Lots more attacks, but you'll like it. That tower's gone. Big push up there. So I definitely need to look around my map more and do stuff of this nature. Oh wait, I didn't pop that. Why didn't I pop that? My Q didn't activate. So I'm like, oh, I'm sure I'm sure I've done three hits now. Well, <laughs> I did. I just didn't have my Q active. So that was a bit silly. Yep. Didn't check cooldowns before going into combat. Rookie bookie.
That's what our target is there. Good job. Well played. I'm loving this Wukong. Just gonna pop that and then that. Then we gotta do doop. Let's walk this way. Because he can damage us from a distance. Should have saved that really jump over that wall. Apply some pressure bot while they're applying pressure mid. Because I was going to go here, but the, uh, on the jungle wave there. Oh. That's why our target is always yes. He's a damage. Now our target is, of course, Ash. Thank fuck for Rucker. So Lee Sin's going to be coming and we're going to pick him off. We got Raka so we can fight. T.Y. Raka. And Lux. well played yes <coughs> so key there was just picking out targets we knew ash was our target over lee sin so we go for her first then it was uh lee sin definitely not the um darius however we saw the darius only had one ticket health so we thought thought hmm we can proc triumph here jump onto the darius get the kill there proc triumph that gave us a heal right gave us more heals so very very well done there and now we got some life steal Aside from our passive, we can go get that dragon. Next target is Ash, who is over there. Oh, we missed. That's right. There we go for Hextrack. Now that we're in this carry position, we're going to be looking to take every objective or team fight that we can in order to get to that nexus. We've learned that it's infinitely wiser in this elo, potentially in future elos as well, to rush down that nexus. Yes, it's fun to get them kills, but do you want to have fun or do you want to climb? Lel. Oh, here's Ash. Yas is up there. Got to keep our eye on him. Beautiful. So we wait for the knock up before we drop our W in, in order to ensure that we get the hit. Yeah, I was going to turn from it. They have, so that's fine. We stay on Drake.
Beautiful. Free bars. Oh. He recovered health. And we don't need to chase the ass, really. There's a tower right here going down. And they got him anyway. Oh, oh, we got him. Nice. Love that. Beautiful. Definitely is GG. Go spend our 3k. Can't get that. There it is. Oh, yeah, so we want to get into lane quickly just because we obviously don't want to be um, wasting our Baz. So we're just grabbing things on our way. Wukong was already in lane, so I didn't have to worry too much. So we're pretty huge now. Now we just look to finish out the game. Don't have to worry about the Yas pushing top. We got Baz. We don't care if they try to... <laughs> Yasuo tries to split push. The issue with Yas is his team play. So if he's not fighting in the team, if he's trying to split push, then we're fine. Oh, towels on me. My bad. So now we're gonna make a play. We're gonna go boom. Woo. GG. Easy as that, guys. All right, definitely gonna give it to the old Wukong there. He played very, very well. Oh, actually, Rucker could have got the um. Yeah, it's on Rucker. Could have got the under there as well. Promoted back to silver too. Good way to start the year. First ranked game of the year. And we got put into jungle. I actually didn't mind that. Didn't mind that at all. So we go across the grass here. Yeah, we did a shitload of damage. Um, but yeah, just sticking to that play. So we just completely ignored him, completely ignored him, and completely ignored him until these two were out of the way in combat. Um, and like I said, this is why we focus Yas. And obviously focus Ash. He had no time to do anything. Um, where is Turrets? Good work, Kate. She got bang. Yes, at the end and obviously in mid lane. Oh, Yasmus got this Gutter Crab too. Detectives. We won that one. Yeah, good work. We're going coming and assisting us. And then healing. Look at that. Thank you very much, Rucker. Well, that wraps up game one for the new year. Thank you all so much for joining me, supporting me, being here with me, dropping those comments. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it every single day day the key takeaway that i found for myself i did change up the music that is in the background i don't know if i can show you guys it but if i can here's a quick little so you'll see me at the start actually i'll add it in at the end but this is what i was doing at the start was focusing on my breathing listening to the music just getting into the zone um might work for you might not it really really did work for me because i could really pay attention on that goal that we spoke about at the start when we were in the connecting screen it really allowed me to pay attention to what i needed to do in that game which was like we said focus those two carries and ignore the other three this year is going to be a little bit different we are so over working we don't want to go back we're not working right now this is the full time and we're planning to make it the entire full time in order to do that i'm going to need to be putting in a lot more time and a lot more effort because if i'm expecting you guys to be here joining me subscribing i better be delivering the great content and putting in the work behind it every single week i'm still going to be coming at you to cure your monday itis at lunchtime we're still going to have those weekly videos of the silver to diamond climb we're making it this year i'm determined i'm not going to make it there in league of legends in youtube in my career anything without your support and because every time you guys hit that subscription and ring that bell you're making a promise and a commitment to me 
I got to deliver something back, right? In addition to your weekly Monday artist, I'm going to be coming at you with some Monster Hunter World, if I can get the PlayStation recording going. Fortnite, primarily with me and Maddie, who you usually hear in the background. She's a bit sick at the moment, so she's not here. And we're also going to be playing Fortnite with Who Is Day and Who Is Night. Speaking of, they are the ones who is responsible for this mad mic, um, amazing uh, setup. Love it. I'm not sponsored by Rody, but it's all Rody and it's incredible. No longer have this mic dangling in front of my face. It's just, and it sounds better. It's crisp. It moves so smooth. Look at this. Oh, oh, smooth. And look, look. Don't know what the, that was for, but you get the drift. Also in the new year, rocking Woo! new hairstyle done by none other than Maddie herself. So a lot of good things this year. I'm hoping you guys got some new year's resolutions too. If you do, post them down in the comments. We can keep each other committed. My new year's resolution, well, I don't know if it's a new year's resolution, but my goal for this new year's is going to be keeping to my promise to you guys every single week, at least 52 videos this year. If I can stick to that promise and you guys can keep me committed, I want you guys to show me your promises and I'll keep committed to them. We're all in this together. I'm not gonna make it to Diamond, which is the primary goal for League of Legends this year, and I'm not gonna make it to be a professional, full-time career YouTuber, career YouTuber, influencer, stream, whatever it's called. I mean, I really need to find out what my job title is. I'm not gonna be able to do that without you guys. So I mean it when I say drop that down there. We'll keep each other committed. That does wrap up the video for today. I thank you all so much for joining me again. And if you've made it this far and you've enjoyed it, please drop that like, drop that subscription, ring that bell. We're doing it all year. But for now, enjoy the rest of your week. We'll see you next Monday. Peace.